Do you really have to pay private parking fines? One thing's for certain, you definitely can't ignore them. If you don't either pay or appeal a parking fine in Scotland, it can escalate. The issuer will continue to send you letters, you'll receive payment demands, and they might even threaten court action. If it gets as far as court and the car park management company wins, then you could have to pay out a lot of money and the fine turns into a debt, meaning you'll get a court decree that will affect your credit history, so best to avoid it. When you park on private land like supermarket car parks, they imply private operators to make sure that you abide by the rules. When you park up, you're unknowingly entering into a contract and signs around you should be clearly displayed about their expectations. You'll get a parking ticket if you maybe stay longer than you're allowed, they think you've parked badly, or maybe you didn't clearly display a ticket in a pay and display. The parking ticket is then treated like an invoice to you. Your parking ticket can either be slapped to the car or it could arrive in the post if you were caught on CCTV or AMPR. Once you've received it, then it's time to go through it with a fine tooth comb and make sure that all the details are correct. If they aren't, then that in itself is grounds for appeal. And in a second, I'll go through some of my favourite hacks for appealing a ticket. But first, you need to check all the details on the parking fine are correct. Did the operator issue the parking fine correctly? Was it on the window of your car or did it come through the post? Does the fine seem excessive? Were you the registered keeper when the parking charge was issued? And did the fine arrive in the post well over two weeks after you're supposed to have broken the rules? Were the signs indicating that there was CCTV or AMPR in the car park? If not, and the fine arrived in the post, you could challenge it. Once you've checked all those details, then you're ready to either pay or appeal. If you don't pay or appeal a parking fine in Scotland, the issuer could serve you with a charge for payment, execute an earnings arrestment, place an attachment on your vehicle or place an arrestment on your bank account. So it's important not to just leave it hanging around. Let's say you've decided to appeal. What's the best way to get out of paying? Well, it'll depend on why you feel the ticket was unjust, but in my experience, there are four really common ways to appeal. Have you heard of a grace period? You've still got 10 minutes after your ticket expires to get back to your car before the operator can issue you a ticket. If this is the case for you, then you have a legal right to appeal. When did your ticket arrive? Now, if you didn't get that ticket physically stuck to your car and it took longer than 14 days to arrive in the post, then you might be entitled to more time to gather information for your appeal. If you can prove that an emergency stopped you from getting to your car, maybe you ended up in hospital or something else equally as drastic, then you've got a good chance of your appeal being accepted. It's really unlucky if your car broke down in the car park. What a rough day, a breakdown and you get a ticket. Now, I can't help with a breakdown, but it can be a legitimate reason to appeal a parking ticket. You could chat to your breakdown recovery company to provide you with proof. If you want total clarity on whether you have a case, then you could speak to a professional. Uh, you could speak to a solicitor. In-person solicitors are great if you like to chat face to face, but there are also online solicitors that you can use like Just Answer. It's really easy, you just tell them what happened in the chat and they'll give you a professional opinion about appealing your parking ticket. It's only a fiver for a trial to get all the answers you need and it could save you a lot of money. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out and support my channel.